Corcon provides a collaboration tool called Team Link Portal. As a Corcon subscriber, you can offer access to this Team Link Portal to any of the companies you collaborate with, including project owners, customers, clients, vendors, suppliers, subcontractors, architects, engineers, and CM firms. The Team Link Portal is free and can be accessed by any browser. The Team Link Portal cannot be used by your internal employees. The correspondence used in the Team Link Portal will greatly reduce the phone calls and emails from outside team members by giving them access to project details on an as-needed basis. Customers will feel at ease that communication tools are in place to reduce delays and improve project execution. As a Corcon subscriber, you will be reassured that the issues or subjects brought up through the TeamLink portal will be properly documented as part of your project. The TeamLink portal has two authentication systems that will be discussed in subsequent videos, RFP packages, pricing requests for CPRs, correspondence, documentation records that are in Corcon cannot be modified in the portal by outside team members. Thus, the team member's original response will be read-only if the record has been locked. This illustration shows the relationship of the TeamLink portal to the modules that you use internally as a subscriber. The Corcon platform is integrated with your Corcon browser solution Corcon Mobile, and the Corcon Link Utilities. The Team Link Portal, also connected to the Corcon platform, is for those external companies and contacts collaborating with you on projects. Corcon does not limit the number of external collaborators that you can share the Team Link Portal with. It is included in your subscription, and there will be no additional cost. If you go to Corcon's global settings and down to the Team Link portal, you'll first notice that you have an individualized login URL. If you have a website and want external collaborators to access the Team Link portal from your company website, you may want to share that with your website designer. Corcon provides three basic security roles for the Team Link portal. Architect could represent the architect, engineer, CM firm that represents the project owner. A owner security role in Team Link Portal would be your project owner, customer, or client. The vendor security role would usually be issued to vendors, suppliers, and subcontractors. You can create custom security roles by copying one of the existing or default security roles and then making changes. To do that, just click the Add button. The next section is external users. This is showing users that you've already granted access to your Team Link portal. If at any time you need to quickly remove a Team Link portal user, come to the Global Settings Team Link portal and simply delete that external collaboration user. Let's open the Team Link security role called Vendor. You'll see down the left hand side the features available to this type of collaborative user you have the ability to allow them to be able to read and you have a read access type of of all features no access referenced only you also have a few features that the collaborative user can add from within the portal such as journals RFI submittals bills and sub invoices back to Corcon home and we've selected a project collaborative users through the team link portal are added through the project directory where security roles are assigned. These collaborative users are project specific, although the information pulled into the project directory does come from Corcon's contact management module. Within the project, there's an external team member follow-up items and an external team member open email that can be sent out. To add companies to your project directory, you have several options. Remember that contacts must have an email address for this to work properly. Once you've added companies to the project directory, simply select the security role for each, go to actions, and then send team link invitation. On that invitation, each company will only be able to see the contacts from their company. They cannot see who else you're sending this to. 
Since users in your company can't use the Team Link portal, a Team Link role should not be assigned to your company. As you can see, I've already assigned all the Team Link roles for all the external companies. If I go to Actions, Send Team Link Invite, I can select any security role or all at one time. Once you've vetted the list of contacts and companies that will be users of Team Link Portal, scroll down to the bottom, preview the email, and click Send Email. There'll be a link to the Team Link Portal, and if they've logged into the Team Link Portal before, it will remind them of their username and it'll let them know that the password was previously set. If they've not logged into the Team Link Portal in the past, it will give them a temporary password as well and encourage them to update that password once they've logged in. Also remember that each of the companies and contacts that collaborate with you through the Team Link Portal only need access to one portal. One portal will cover all of the projects that you're working on with them. Back out to Project Home. Also remember that Quarkon Team Link users will only be able to see records or transactions that they are referenced on. So for example, Prime Invoice issued to your client, customer, or project owner won't be visible to a subcontractor because they're not referenced on it. Another point is that in any of the Quarkon record or transaction types, for example, if we take a look at this submittal, the external collaborators, in this case, are the originator, Harding Doors, and the respondents. If we go all the way to the bottom, you'll see linked files. In this case, they're all PDF files, but they'll only be able to see these attachments if the show in portal box is checked. If you need to make a specific document internal only, uncheck that in the show in portal column and back to Project Home. If you'd like to know more about the information in this training video, we encourage you to go to the Knowledge Base, down to Team Link Portal for collaboration. This group of Knowledge Base articles include the information covered in this training video, as well as additional and more detailed information you may find helpful.